guys, it's Mike here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys reacting to Smike Top 10 Rare Screens. Top 10 rare screens. Top 10 rare screens. You guys did so good on the last FNAF video, so I'm going to do another one. The very first game. I'm not exactly sure what it signifies, but it's the same text that appears in those you know, random explanations that you get. And yeah, this particular screen is extremely rare, and I have no idea how to get it. Uh, it just seems to happen extremely rarely. But yeah, in any case, it's uh, really creepy. And that's number 9, we have this screen with all the animatronics. I've actually seen that one before. Again, this In game. This happens extremely rarely, and uh, it's when you look at the stage. I was scared of the mind. Equally fun. Very rare events in the game that happen like 1% of the time, you know, and take you by surprise, and just make the game that much more creepy. And after number 8, we have actually three screens. I've seen that one too, that's crazy. Game, where we have Toy Bonnie, uh, Toy Freddy, and Foxy looking at you with black empty sockets where their eyes should be. And this I've seen that one. I've seen that one in Bonnie. Happen. Gameplay. It actually happens for Toy Freddy when you put up the game, for Foxy when you start a new game, and for Toy Bonnie uh, when you finish a game. And all of these, of course, have an extremely low chance of appearing, and not that many people have seen them actually. And after number seven, we have an eerie poster of Freddy ripping off his own head in the first game. Now, I have actually mentioned this uh, a few times before in my previous videos, and one person in the comments said that this might actually signify uh, the soul of the child who's stuck inside Freddy trying to escape, and so therefore he's trying to rip his head open. And that's quite possible actually, I don't know if Scott actually uh, intended any meaning behind this, or if he just put it there to add some spooks to the game, uh, but either way it's pretty interesting. And after number 6 we have a few screen caps. That one won't scare me, but I've never seen it. Escaping from inside Merit Man's gift box. Now the end of Skeleton isn't actually a threat to you, he doesn't actually attack you, and besides, either way, if he's out, it's too late anyway because Merit Man's gonna kill you. But yeah, it does lead one to wonder to who wants this and those skeletons belong, and the most likely answer is, of course, Golden Freddy. And after number 5, we have uh, some kind of a secret Shadow Freddy in the Parts and Services room. That thing's uh, scary! Really rare, and it does Holy one to wonder shit. so many things, like for example, why is it purple-ish? Is it in any way related to the purple man? Could it be quite possibly a killer? And also, be careful because uh, when you see this, don't stare at it too long or your game will crash, just like with Golden Freddy in the first game. And by the way, this happens to also be a special version of Golden Freddy, because if you look closely, you will notice that his eye has wires hanging out of it, just like Golden Freddy. And after number four, we have the marionette hallucinations that appear when the marionette is out of its box, and you look at the hallway cameras. Now, these hallucinations only appear for like one frame each, and they are extremely creepy, uh, but do know that if you do see them, you are pretty much screwed because the marionette is out of its box and it is going for you. And after number 3 we have the rare uh, night 8 text in the main menu. Now this happens in the second game uh, when you reach night 6 and you go to the main menu and you flicker very very quickly across the buttons in the main menu and sometimes for like one frame the text that says night 6 under continue will be replaced by uh, night 8. Now this may actually be a bug because uh, if you manage to click on it you will be able to play night 8 but it will be kind of glitched all of the animatronics will be turned off except for Foxy, and if you accidentally pull up your camera, your screen will go black and will stay that way forever. And if you do actually manage to finish it, your screen will be stuck on the 6 a.m. screen forever. And after number two, we have why would that even be in the game the then? Office screen. Now, in the second game, sometimes you'll we'll find in the fourth party room one particular paper plate that will sometimes tend to disappear, and very, very rarely, uh, the paper plate may actually appear in your office. So, yeah, it does beg the question of. Who the hell put it there and why? And I guess this is in some way kind of a Easter egg. And then finally, for number one, we have one rare screen that I'm surprised no one really ever talked about online, and that is the sort of special Bonnie Death screen. Yeah, that's what I was gonna game. say. It looks no, like I'm Bonnie. Not talking about the usual Bonnie Death screen. This one is different and it's sort of a, a weird in the first cup. Well, that's gonna do it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm coming out with another FNAF react right after this, so stay tuned for that, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.